For today's makeup, we're gonna start off with a primer. This is the one I'm using by Models Own. As usual, I pump a bit on my fingers, I wrap my fingers together, and I go ahead and apply it all over my face. Here you go, you can definitely tell a difference who put this lamp here. Next, we have to create a smooth canvas, so I'm taking this Tarte foundation, which I really like because it keeps my skin from getting too oily. I'm actually gonna move it from one finger to another, and my nips is out. Oopsies. Find a position that you're really comfortable in and then dot the foundation across your face. You have to blend it so I'm using a flat top brush and that, that is a lot of foundation. But that's okay, just keep blending everything and it will get better. Now it's time to contour and highlight. So I'm using this Pro Glow palette again by Tarte and I'm using the bronzer first to sculpt my cheekbones. You know, this stuff is very pigmented, so you have to keep blending and blending and blending. And if that doesn't really work, just get rough with it. But now back to being gentle, let's pick up some of the highlight from the same palette and let's apply it to the cheekbones right on top of the brown shadow that we just created. Oh, and don't forget to bring it down your nose as well. On to blush, the secret is the way you apply it. Make sure that you go for a swirling motion so you see, that gives you such a sweet and innocent look. But let's not forget about the eyebrows. I'm using this pencil by Paul and Joe to create long strokes so that my brows not only look fuller, but also much longer. If you can pull off this look, just go for it. Now on our eyes, we're gonna use this chocolate palette by Too Faced. You don't have it? Oh, you do, okay, good. Pick this beautiful purple shade and apply it from the inner corner all the way out, covering all the lid space all the way up to the brows. You really don't want any space in between with this look, just like this. Now take the golden eyeshadow and draw a line across your eyes as if you were applying eyeliner. This will just help create the stunning, unexpected factor. And once you're done with that, you know that I always bring the same eyeshadow under my waterline as well, so that is just what I'm doing here. Here you go, as delicate as a swan. But we're not done yet. We need our signature black eyeliner, so I've decided to switch it up a bit and remove the wings at the end, and it's kind of like a bit more messy, but it looks nice. Then my boyfriend just came randomly into the room and he told me how beautiful I look, so of course I had to thank him. But to finish off the eyes, I'm using this Sarah Hill mascara, Pay attention to how you put this on. It's vital that you scrunch your face so that it looks all messy. Cause in fact, we want that edgy, I've just cried kind of look, cause it's sexy. The last step is a bright red lipstick. We all know that red is the color of love. Absolutely make sure that your lips are dry for this. Honestly, I'm really feeling myself, but seriously, now open really wide and carefully apply the color. So here's the complete look, it's sexy, it's unexpected, it's anything that you want for a sexy spring date. Your partner will also definitely love it, it's guaranteed. But yeah, this is it, I just really hope you liked it and I will see you soon. Bye! Thanks for watching.